is a cystic disease caused by larva of echinococcus granulosus and echinococcus multilocularis. These two parasites, they are the tapeworms. The adult tapeworm lives in canine and sheep. The larval form, it lies in the human beings. So the larval form of this parasite manifests like a cyst and the cyst is called the hydrated cyst. That means the cyst looks like a drop of water, a big drop of water. The life cycle of the parasite The normal habitat of this tape form is the dog's intestines. The eggs are passed in the feces of the dog. Then this feces can contaminate the grass. The contaminated grass, if it is eaten by the sheep, it forms the larva in the sheep's muscles and then the various organs. That means the sheep will be hosting the hydra disease. When this sheep's muzzle, which is having the larva or the hydra cyst, is eaten by the dog, the larva enters the intestines of the dog and it grows into the adult parasite. So this is the normal life cycle of this parasite. By accident, if the parasite is unlucky, the eggs, they reach the human being. So when the person is fondling a dog, whose skin is contaminated with its fecal discharge containing the eggs. So the eggs can reach the hands of the human being and they are swallowed if proper hygienic measures are not followed. Now the eggs go into the intestines of the human being and they differentiate into the larval form that is cysts. So the cyst can be there in various parts of the body, more commonly in the liver. For the parasite, it is an unwanted thing. Human being hosting the parasite in the larval form is an unwanted thing for the parasite because it end stays for the parasite. It cannot grow into the adult parasite because human being flesh cannot be eaten by the dog. The adult parasite resides in the canines, that is the dog. The eggs pass in the feces and contaminate the vegetables eaten by man or the sheep. They enter the stomach of the man, burrows through the mucosa of the stomach, enters the portal circulation into the liver. Here in the liver, the larva develops into hydrate cysts. These eggs which come into the stomach, they are subjected to the hydrochloric acid and other intestinal juices in the intestinal tract. The outer coat is dissolved. Now the egg, the embryo passes into the liver through the portal vein. Once it reaches the liver sinusoids because there are a lot of food stuff available there in the liver where its metabolites are there. So that happens to be the most happy place for this parasite to go. 
So here it divides. So the cell, a single cell derived from the egg, now divides into multiple cells. A mass of cells are formed. These mass of cells, they produce a layer outside them. This is called the laminated membrane or ectocyst. Once this laminate membrane is formed, then these cells, they don't lie as a cluster. Now they line the surface of this laminate membrane. And in the center, they secrete a fluid. And this gradually grows in size. As it is growing in size, it causes pressure atrophy of the surrounding liver cells. So the surrounding liver cells, they are compressed and they form a capsule for them. The surrounding capsule is called the pericyst. So the pericyst is derived from the liver parenchyma. It is not the larval. So it is not the thing that belongs to the parasites. Inside the pericyst, there is ectocyst or the laminated, so the ectocyst is there, that is the laminate membrane. Lining the laminate membrane inside is layer of cells. These layer of cells are called the germinal layer because this is the most important layer of the embryo. This germinal layer they produce other germinal cells, that means they germinate. They produce fluid, that is hydrated fluid. They secrete the laminate membrane. So everything of the, this larva is formed from this germinal layer. In the center, there is hydrated fluid. Normally at this stage, the larva expects that a sheep, a sheep should come and then eat this larva. Then the larva goes to the intestines of the sheep and then it can, sorry, a dog. A dog should eat this and then this larva should go into the intestines of the dog and then there it should develop into adult parasites. But in a human being, so it cannot be devoured by a dog. That is why the germinal layer now continues to grow there is no space here. So that's why the cells produce a group of cells into the lumen of the cyst. So there is a cluster of new cells have formed there. Now once the cluster of new cells have formed, these cells, they organize themselves. And each cluster produces a layer of laminate membrane around them. Then these are called as brood capsules. They're nothing but buds inside the, the cyst. Once the laminate membrane is formed, again the story repeats. That means these cells now they organize themselves as forming lining and they produce fluid inside. That means again another cyst has formed. So there is this formation of cysts inside a cyst. So this is the mother cyst and these are the daughter cysts. As age of this larva grows, then like any other organism, it also starts, gets senile changes. The changes of senile drift starts in the laminate membrane. So the laminate membrane, it disrupts and then it disappears. Now there are multiple daughter cysts which are surrounded by the pericyst. So the laminate membrane doesn't exist now. So it is only having daughter cysts. Still if this larva grows, the daughters can produce granddaughters. So 
it goes on producing daughter cis, grand daughter cis, great great daughter cis, that's all. It can't become an adult parasite. But as the cyst becomes older, the germinal cells, they try to replicate the adult parasite. That means they try to form the parasite. Though the environment is not suitable for that. That's why they form small heads of the parasite, miniature heads. Sometimes they form the hooklets of the parasite. So they can't form the whole parasite. That's why a long-standing hydrocyst fluid contains the scolices, or sometimes the hooklets of the scolices, though not the adult parasite. 